And I just remember being in the car with him, and we was going to a club. I don't remember where in the city. We still in St. John's. And uh, this freestyle came on. He was freestyling over Grammy family. And I was just like, oh, shit, who the fuck is that? He's like, yo, that's me. More and more I listened to it, I was like, yo, we need to do something. We need to put a tape out. That's kind of how it started. It started more of like, this is my homie, and whatever help I can give him along the way, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to let people know, like, yo, he's dope. So I started spreading the word around in Queens, and then, then the same dream that I'm sure a lot of people had growing up, you see the Rockefellers, you see the Bad Boys, you see those kind of, you know, groups, and you're like, those crews, and you're like, yo, we could do that. Like, we can, this is all before the deal. Like, before the deal even came, we was already talking, like, we got one of the best rappers in the game, and shit, we can work this out. We can start our own shit. And then the name Dreamville came about. And that was just mostly came from mixing the whole city of dreams, which is where he moved to, and which was where I'm from, to Fayetteville, which, you know, so that, that, that's when you get Dreamville. And the whole thought was, man, anything's possible. So that's how the whole Dreamville movement started. And we really had that before he had a deal. No ID once told Cole, there's a great idea in everything you start. Like, if you start a beat, there's a great idea in there. He's like, man, I don't just, I might start a beat and go back to it like a few weeks later. My beats go through like four stages. And that's what he told Cole as a producer. And I took that and I realized that like, oh, holy shit, there's a great idea in every idea you get. If I get an idea, it might not be there yet, but that might be the beginning of something great. So that what that makes you do is be like, ah, that idea is not good, and you just throw it to the side. But when you build that confidence, you start looking at it like, well, that idea is not there, but let's see how we can take it there. There's a reason why this thing came up. There's a reason why I felt strongly about this. I think that's what this go around. All of us as a team have so much more confidence in what we're doing and what we believe in that that June 18th day came, when Cole came with that June 18th day idea, as soon as I, I hung up with him, I was calling the label. This is what we want to do. And that confidence that we had when we went to the label and when he called, you know, Jay or when he called whoever about it, they was all like, yo, that's a great idea. I like the fact that you're thinking like that. But it just comes from the confidence of knowing what we want and what we want to do and what this means to us and what we believe in. And the fact that we can make things happen now. So that confidence led us to making a decision that some people might think is ridiculous. Some people might think it's bold. Some people might love it. To us, you're just gonna have to respect it. Eventually, you're just gonna have to respect it.